We are at the usual part of the show where we uh, try to dive in to someone's perspective, thought, and I think uh, we can start today as usual with RJ's random thought of the day. Please share it with us. I'm, I'm curious what you're going to talk about this week. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, KR. Well, my random thought of the day is about a massacre, a, a, a reputational massacre that has seemingly been taking place on the, in the YouTube community. Uh, and I'm talking about the attack on the reputation of a relatively well-known YouTuber, Hafiz Baoku, I think is how you pronounce his last name. Uh, but most people would know him from the YouTube channel, The Roommates. I think mm. uh, they, they're a very popular um, YouTube channel within the male space on YouTube and perhaps more specifically within the, the, the black male space, not black male. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> Continue, sorry. But yeah, ma'am, I don't know if you saw it, KR, and uh, of course our viewers and our followers, but Hafiz went this week to at least two uh, channels, two, two podcasts of other YouTubers in the mail space. The first one was the YouTube channel Valuetainment Money, more specifically on the podcast of, uh, it's, it's called the Saucecast. And it's uh, one of the shows, I think it's the pop most popular show on the Valuetainment Money channel. Uh, and you went there and discussed, or actually I have to say debated, on the topic of marriage. And he is pro-marriage. And the other, and he was there with someone else from the male space who was not against marriage, but he was more, his content is mo mostly focused on the, on the, let's say, on, on giving men the tools and warnings and things to watch out for when engaging with, um, with females, with women, and especially if you want to go into marriage. And that is, coach Greg Adams who's also also has a, a, a strong following uh, he has his followers 200k 200k okay yeah yeah okay so I know them both but I don't necessarily I don't watch their channels I am aware of their content but I don't watch their channels uh, but and the other interview he went on was a not was i think it was the next next day or maybe the day after a day after that and it was on the just pearly things podcast who is a a woman's podcast a white woman's podcast that touch touches on the subject of uh the red pill and i have to say kr Mm. sometimes you need to stay in your lane because if you if you sometimes people think that because they have a certain knowledge or they gain popularity, they gain clout in one area, they think that they can speak on everything. And now, as you know, I am an attorney. I'm not a U.S. attorney, but I am an attorney. I don't 
I have experience with American law, U.S. law. But in general, in the West, you see a lot of similarities. So he was speaking certain things like wild things that were factually and legally incorrect. <laughs> the, he was urging men to get married or his, his in the first podcast, his whole point, his whole, I'm serious, KR. This, this is a serious <laughs> point. Come on, man. <laughs> yes, he was talking about some wild things. He was talking about, um, he's also pro, his, his content is also pro uh, male, but he wants to, he doesn't want to focus on the bad things. He just wants to focus on good things. Now, mind you, this is someone that has a following. I think the roommates, I think they have uh, approximately four or five hundred k followers. His his argument. He was telling the people of the panel that he did not get a prenup because he had. He saw that the prenup is not definitive. Like someone can go out the 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 wife or the ex-wife can try to dissolve it in court or to make mm. it to make it mm. uh, null and or void <clears throat> so it doesn't have any power now i can understand that kr i don't think that's a reason to not take the prenup but i can understand if you say you know what i don't need it i respect it it's your decision but he went on telling people that instead of the Instead of the prenup, he <laughs> entered into a contract with his wife before they got married, in which they agreed on how many children they would have, and amongst other things, how many times they would sleep with each other. Not next to each other, but have intercourse with one another. Did he really hear that? Sheesh. On the second podcast, it went even worse. Now you have some guys, some very popular YouTubers that you and I follow, which is uh, which are the lead attorney. Uh, who was a 20 year uh, he was a 20 year divorce attorney before he retired and became a full time content creator on YouTube. Uh, you also have MTR mediocre tutorial and reviews who also reviewed his content. And specifically uh, the lead attorney TLA shout out to TLA for yeah I mean. I mean, we have to credit Yelly, of course, for his course, his mentorship, school, his mentorship, uh, indirect mentorship, but definitely still, still. as a con as a content creator, as a content creator, uh, as since we've become content creators, he's been one of the main people we follow, and so shout out to him. But aside mm -hmm. from being a good content creator, he was a 20 year. Uh, divorce attorney and he basically confirmed what I was thinking because of course as because I'm not familiar with American law I thought maybe there's a loophole but there isn't <laughs> so what happens is <laughs> but this isn't no so what happens is what happened what is happening basically is what we're seeing is that Hafiz of the roommates basically entered into waters without knowing how to swim. Entered into deep waters without knowing how to swim. <laughs> And saying things, wild things, 
that are being checked, they are being pushed back by people who do know more about the theme and topic and e uh, either, either because uh, in the case of the lead attorney, he's an attorney or other people because they have more experience. And so the lesson from this whole fiasco, and this is how I will finish my thought of the day, Stay in your lane. If you want to talk things, you want to touch a certain subject, try to have people, try to discuss it in a small circle first with critical people who can push back, give you pushback, who are not people who basically just agree with everything to say. Make sure you have some good friends, some critical friends around you. Last week, I talked in my, in my uh, thought of the day, the importance of having a, a good circle. It's important because a circle of people who love them would not have let them. <laughs> <laughs> would not have let him <laughs> go on that podcast, they would have challenged his thoughts and opinions beforehand yeah. because the way he talked, it's clear to me that he needs some new people around him. Oh, That's man. my thought of the day, Keo. Uh, what can I say, man? Pretty good thought. I, I do agree with you on that. How you end it? Crazy man! It's the people crazy. don't love him. His homies don't love him. You don't. Uh, if I, if I, if if his homie, if his homies love them, they would have told him the truth. <laughs> it sounded crazy. I, uh, uh, <clears throat> I watch part of the the. I watch part of the. Uh, the stream slash interview debate, and. Uh, it was uh, the very least very interesting. He had a couple of interesting points. And I do think that um, I wish him all the luck. Because luck you will need. <laughs> Shout out to Shami for that one. Shout out to Shami. Yeah. Man. Anyway. <laughs>